then what meets the eye and there I live for there I live for the world welcome to the third week I can't believe we're already halfway through it's day 15 or day one of week three of our what am I learning 30 day challenge so um and you haven't seen my other two videos i'm gonna link them down below but basically i learn a lot um in the day and i kind of keep track of it but i just learned so much i thought why not share what i'm learning with you guys leave a comment down below if this inspires you to learn more or what you have learned and thank you for following this journey so today i learned that god will test you in the area that you need to grow in. Like for example, this is from one of Joel's sermons, Joel Osteen. He said, um, he was always he was impatient and he struggled with impatience. And he always found himself in um, situations that caused him impatience. And he said that God was putting him in these tests to refine his character. So don't just get discouraged if you keep, because God is bringing out character flaws for you to fix them if you're going through problems. Zenja, I'm on to Zenja Glass. You know, guys know I love Zenja Glass. She says, God is the God of light. He brings light into the dark places. The devil is the darkness. Um, there's no power. God is the light. And the devil literally trembles at Jesus. And we can always rise up and bring light into our situation when there's darkness. And another message from Zenja, you are the gift. You don't need to feel bad about not receiving gifts like at Christmas time or from anyone. You are the gift to this world. And that's a great message. I love that. Um, and the last one from Zenja is that God is breaking strongholds over you. The devil has been lying to you. He is trying to be close to you. But and he is in your ear, at least for me, he's in my ear constantly trying to get me down, especially at night when he knows I'm tired and cannot withstand him. But it's time to rise up and say, no devil, I will not listen to you. So those are some valuable things that I learned today. You've seen my watercolor paintings. I've been painting some watercolors. But yeah, on to the next day. Thank you for joining this journey with me. I'm so excited. Halfway through. And there I give up out of my hands the waves ocean in front of me welcome to days 16 and 17 i decided to combine these two days and something i learned on day 16 that it's okay to rest you are just as worthy when you rest as when you're working um i started the day one of a special diet that's supposed to help your blood sugar and I learned that I probably need to eat more protein in the morning. So like you can customize things to yourself. Like something that works for everyone might not work for you. It's okay that you customize. Another day 17 um, that I learned today is that um, from Joel Osteen. He said, don't beat yourself up. Everybody's on the potter's wheel. And it's okay if you don't have it all together. Don't be against yourself. Be at peace with yourself, knowing that God is shaping you, God is changing you. So, for example, like I could beat myself up. Hey, I ate some chocolate-covered almonds. That wasn't part of my diet. But instead, I choose to believe, hey, God is still working on me, and I'm doing pretty good. And I'm pretty tired. So, next day. I give up an ocean of grief. Welcome to, I believe it's day 18. Uh, happy, I'm filming this on Monday, but this is for Sunday. So, what I learned on Sunday is that, this is really cool. So, my priest at Mass was Palm Sunday. He said that Mary is the new Eve, and the crucifix is the new tree, like in the Garden of Eden, where um, Eve had Adam pick a fruit from the, knowledge of good and evil tree that they weren't supposed to eat. So Mary was the new Eve, and the fruit of her womb was Jesus, and Jesus was put back on the tree. So it was restoring humanity, and I thought that was really cool. And I read this, um, in the Battlefield of the Mind, I read this line, um, don't judge others, but love them. 
and um, don't focus on what people are doing wrong and don't be passive but don't just let these thoughts come into your mind but actively think good things like don't just let the devil fill your mind with stuff um, just think good things don't judge others um, love them like you love yourself love them from those eyes so just basically as how you see yourself you give yourself um, room wiggle room you give yourself well compassion Love others the way that you love you, with that same compassion. And another thing I learned from Zinja Glass, um, she said to sit still and to let God talk to you. This was very beautiful. She also did an episode where she said, don't give up. Um, yeah, she's proud of us. Um, she's proud of you. Um, and that if nobody told you that you're doing a good job, she's telling you she's proud of you. I mean in a heart that's guiding me forward into this journey. Why does it feel so different? Welcome to day 20. So today um, I went to the gardens with my mom and my friend and what I learned today is that God protects us. Um, so we were sitting at a light and uh, we had delayed going. Somebody ran the red on this side, and if we had gone, we would have gotten to a wreck. So we just thank God that God protects us, that God knows everything, and that we pray for protection, and that God is with us. Also, it's wonderful to be out in nature and to take breaks, and the friends are valuable, and to spend time with your friends. And today, day 21, I learned to not procrastinate, but to also not feel like you have to work, but to just, I learned this from Cambria Joy, to just uh, spread out your days, your work among your days, and, but also make time for rest, because that's just as important as getting things done off your to-do list. And if you saw my kitty, she was napping. But yeah, that's what I learned. One last thing I learned from my friend is that the Blessed Mother those who pray to the Blessed Mother will be safe, but those who love the Blessed Mother a lot, she will make saints. So yeah, I thought that was so cool because I love Blessed Mother. When I can't even listen, but the Lord God was with me, and the Lord God saw me in the heart of... Welcome to day 21. Um, so day 21, I learned some very important things today. So I learned tell yourself a new story. You need to tell yourself um, something new and that there's new things God is inviting us to. That we don't need to worry about the past or telling ourselves constant things, beating ourselves up. But that God is trying to tell yourself a new story. Get your story in line with what God says about you. And another thing I learned is that to say that God's got this, that like Daniel in the lion's den, we still need to give God's praise either way, whether God saved them, or whether God didn't save them, just give God praise. And that was like the three Hebrew teenagers in the fire and they didn't get burned. They still gave God praise. Say this to yourself when you're tempted to worry that God has got this. And um, it's kind of a way of going to God and saying, okay, God, here's this. Um, it's your faith that activates bold moves in God's lives. And another thing, oh, this is beautiful by Zinja Glass. She said, um, if I had to go back in my life, would I have chosen impact or comfort? And there's this quote that's always stuck with me uh, by a pope. You were not made for great um, comfort, you were made for greatness. And like she said, would I rather everything go easy and my life just be here easy and I was here and I came and I went? Or would it she rather go through suffering and care about, have more compassion for things to impact other people struggling in that same area? And I feel like we feel like the victim sometimes, like, God, things aren't going right for us. But in reality, God is setting us up to work miracles in other people's lives. So don't ever forget your worth and who you are. And be practical. Look at practical things that you can do to help someone uh, out based on what you've been through. Father is more than a father. And a life.
sky within just spoke again. A hearty 